Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm a man who likes to do makeup. It's really early in the morning, and I just took a shower, I prepped my face, and I'm all set up to do my makeup for the day because today is gonna be a very special project. I was chosen to do a project with Sephora called We Belong to Something Beautiful. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm thinking just a nice, simple, purpley, gold look and we're going to head to Sephora to begin the project safely with our masks of course and I'm going to take a little behind the scenes of the project. It's going to be, I'm not sure how much I can film but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm a little nervous but very excited to share my story with everybody so without further ado let's get ready. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of a voiceover for this Get Ready With Me. This is how I actually first started to learn to do makeup is I would watch others just do Get Readies With Me and learn a little bit along the way. So hopefully this helps somebody out there. But first I like to do my brows. I like to condition them with this brow conditioning primer. Definitely not necessary, but it's made by Benefit Cosmetics. And I like to run it through my brows and my beard. It softens the eyebrows up and it actually makes them look a little bit more full as well. Next, I always tweeze because I feel like I sprout new hairs all the time. These are iconic aluminum drops. I put these underneath my foundation and I usually on the high points of my face just to give me a nice glow underneath my foundation for a nice natural dewy look. These are eye drops. I highly recommend them if you get red eyes. Um, they're called Lumify. You can get them at Target. They kind of make you look like you have a filter on your eyes. I love them. Next, this is the Marc Jacobs Lip Oil. Definitely not something that's necessary. You can just use chapstick, but I love to prep my lips while I'm doing the rest of my face just to make sure they're nice and soft and ready to go for later on. And now I'm taking a benefit, my, precisely my brow pencil. I believe I use the, one of the darkest shades because of my eyebrow, and I run them through. I do already have naturally thick eyebrows that are pretty full, but I like to fill in a little bit of sparse areas to give them a little bit more of a shape. And you have to check them out. Look at them in the mirror, see if you like them. And to finally set my brows in place, I use the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, another good one is Benefit Cosmetics 24-Hour Brow Setter. I really love to do this even if I don't put any products in my brows. And now I'm priming my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I really love this and I really highly suggest you use an eye primer to have a long-lasting eyeshadow throughout the day. Next, I decided I wanted a very sharp wing, so I used eyeshadow guards. I got these ones coming up off of Amazon. You can get a ton for like $3. It's ridiculous. Or you can buy them from like Elf Cosmetics. They have good ones as well. Just make sure that you use them before your foundation so you don't pull up your foundation. For eyeshadow, I use the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette for the entire eye look. Um, I don't remember exactly what the shades are in there. I'd have to go grab the palette. But I just took my time. Went from dark to light, started blending out, made sure the edges were very soft, and I kept checking out the shape to see if it's what I liked, and it was beautiful in my opinion. Um, added some gold shimmer with my fingers. That's the best way to pick up some shimmer shades is to use your fingers to get the pigment on versus a brush. And then I continuously blended, got some darker shadow in the outer corner, and pulled it in down along the lower lash line. And this is one of my favorite parts, pulling off the eye guards and seeing that sharp wing. I love that sharp wing look that like blends in with the soft edges. Next, I'm going in with my base makeup. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I feel like I always come back to this foundation. I love the finish. It does truly look skin-like, and it's just so pretty to me. Other than that, I use the Fenty Beauty Foundation, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and by Beauty Changemaker Foundation, and those have been my go-to. And checking out the look, and I come down onto my neck as well because you're not going to see below my neck for this uh, filming that I'm doing, but I wanted my neck to match my face. Next, I'm going in with Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I think I use the shade 40NN, that's neutral, and I just do a little dot. I wanted this look to be more like sheer light bordering medium coverage but not quite there and a little bit does truly go a long way i can just hear some of my friends screaming right now like nick that's barely any concealer and i know but the finished product is what i wanted and a little bit does go a long way and you can always add more but i really loved how this turned out and gave myself the coverage that i think i needed Right now I'm adding a little bit of cream contour from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Again, not too, too much because mostly I like to contour with a cream or powder blush, but I was giving just a little bit of definition to my face and up on my temples to kind of like give that shape the face I wanted. Blotting it out with the back of my sponge to lessen the harshness of it. Going in with a MAC blush. This is a soft cushion blush. 
it's a cream product i really like it i take my sponge and i like to dab it into my cheeks but i also kind of bring it down like a contour like i said before um it is a i love these blushes so much they're very beautiful and very subtle if you want them to be but you can build them up and make them quite harsh but this will be the last cream product i go in with once you finally finish all your cream based products then you can go in with your powder products if I'm correct, I believe this is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but the glow version. So there's going to be a little bit of sheen and shimmers within this powder. And I'm going to set just the perimeters and the um, forehead with this. I'm not going to do the under eyes. I don't want a large amount of sheen to the under eyes. So I tap it off and I would just gently set the outside of my face. Next, I'm going into the under eye with a translucent powder. If I remember correctly, I just used an Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. I think the shade vanilla, it might be translucent. I honestly don't remember. Setting the forehead a little bit as well. But my secret, and what, not really a secret, but I love going in with this Hourglass face palette. This is called the Ghost Edit I think Ghost Edit Face Palette, and I like to mix the ambient to ambient shades. It's like a finishing powder, and this will give like a final beautiful sheen to the face. Next, now that I finished the lower half of my face on my base, I went in to connect the under eye with that dark shade from the um, Huda Beauty Palette, giving my eyelashes a good curl to get them ready for the mascara. I decided against falsies for this look. I don't typically wear falsies all the time, but I think this is the Fenty Beauty Mascara. I go between Fenty Beauty Mascara now, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Milk Makeup, and even Honest Beauty Mascara. I'm not too much of a mascara snob. I just kind of use whatever I want at the time. Going in with Manny MUA's Lunar Beauty Blush Palette to kind of give a little bit more of a contour, but with blush. Even though I already went in there with that cream product, I like to give a little bit more oomph to my face. I'm going to be on harsh sunlight and add a little bit to my nose as well, just to kind of give some flush and color to my face. All right, everybody, this is the final makeup look. Well, I need to put on a lip, but we'll get to that. This is my final makeup look that I'm going to do for my We Belong to Something Beautiful project with Sephora. And the reason why I chose these colors is because I put up this chart in my Instagram stories and asked what color color vibes I gave off because the chart had like descriptions of things underneath the colors. And the most answers I got were pink, purple, and yellow. Well, instead of yellow, I used a gold to improvise. This is how I chose this look, so you were all part of this too, because overall, it's true. We all belong to something beautiful. Not just me, not just some person in a, on a magazine, but we all are beautiful, no matter who you are and where you're from, and that is so important. So I have to leave in about... 22 minutes, so I need to finish getting ready, and no, I didn't put on falsies, but I don't think I need them. I don't usually wear them, and I got my lashes big enough that we're going to go with it. Follow along. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can behind the scenes. I'm very excited, but I got to get going. It's going to be like 100 degrees today. Like, no joke. I checked the weather. It's going to be like 95 to 100 degrees. I'm scared. I'm probably going to melt, but we will just call it abstract art at the end of it all. <laughs> One last thought before I get ready and leave. So. I was so nervous about doing this look for this. I Every time I go to an event or anything like that, this is really big or important to me. And I practice a look and different colors and styles and what kind of things I want to do and how I want to present myself to everybody. But at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is how you want to present yourself, how you see yourself. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. And I even had to talk to myself out of that own headspace just to do this. But I'm so glad I just sat down this morning. I went with what I felt in my heart, what I wanted to do, and it turned out beautiful. And at the end of the day, that's all you have to do. Just go with your gut, do it for you, and stand proud with what you do. Because you are beautiful, and you are creative, and you are capable. So take it from me. Uh, don't worry, it's not that big a deal. And I'll say it again, because people say it to me all the time, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's go. All right, so the makeup has passed the test of looking good in daylight. <laughs> I think it actually looks pretty nice, especially in the rear view mirror. It's always like a telltale sign of like, do I look like shit or not? 
but we're on our way to the Sephora. We're gonna start there and we're going to meet the film crew there and the Sephora team. And this is the first Sephora I have ever stepped foot in and bought makeup. I remember getting a concealer, what was it, like three years ago now? Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> That's my fiance. Um, he is kindly spending the whole day with me and for support because I was a little nervous about this. I'm really excited, but I'm a little nervous. Do we like it? Give me a thumbs up. Making our way to the Sephora. Get out of this heat real quick because it's already 90 degrees. <laughs> and here we are. I just finished at Sephora um, filming. We're gonna go back to the apartment and we're going to do a little bit of the interview now. We just took some like B-roll footage and like fun shots at Sephora. And we're gonna finish up at my house with the interview, some more B-roll shots. And I can't wait to see when this comes together. They said, I've watched other ones that they've done of these and they do such a good job. And so I'm super excited. Okay. All right, everybody, uh, that's a wrap. I just finished the Sephora interview and experience for We Belong to Something Beautiful. It is like 100 degrees out. We got a natural do going on, as you can see, but the makeup held up pretty well overall. I had to do a few touch-ups throughout, and but I was pretty happy with how my makeup has held up all day. And also I realized looking back at the footage, from this morning that you saw when I was doing my makeup, I had the camera on manual focus instead of autofocus. And I apologize for that, but you got the gist of everything and you saw some footage from the day, which was awesome. I was so nervous, but it went so smooth. Everybody was so friendly and it was just a blast. But if you want to see the finished product, head over to Sephora's page. They posted it on their page. But thank you for following along. And I wanna leave you all the way. I always leave everybody and tell you that no matter who you are or where you're from, you are beautiful and don't forget it. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.